What's up, Panchi here, back with another video and yours truly has access to Google Bard. Now, do note Google Bard right now, as soon as you open it for the first time, it will give you a few warnings. One, it is an experiment. And when you're trying this AI from Google Bard, remember that it will not be always right. Bard may give inaccurate or inappropriate responses when in doubt use the google it button to check bard's responses then bard will cater with next up google bard does need your feedback to get better so please rate responses and flag anything that may be offensive or unsafe so here it is we are on bard.google.com let us chit chat about some technology with google bard like the best phone the best custom rom let us talk about the google tensor chip and the google pixel 8 let us see what happens so our first question for google bard is which is the best phone of 2023 and there it is it is telling us there is no one best phone of 2023 as the best phone for you will depend on your individual needs and preferences however some of the best phones of 2023 include and here's the list so you have your iphone 14 pro max the samsung galaxy s23 ultra the google pixel 7 pro the oneplus 11 pro the iphone se 2022 and of course the google pixel 6a now let us ask bard which is their favorite phone here it is of course google bard's personal favorite phone is the google pixel 7 pro because of the pure android experience yes loving that answer excellent camera performance right on deck and a sleek design it also has a powerful processor and a long lasting battery now the last two might not be factually correct but it is up for debates but impressive thing over here is that it remembers the context we were talking about phones i asked the best phone of 2023 and then i asked which one is your favorite so awesome awesome great reply by google bard over here next let us talk about the google tensor chip so there it is it is telling us that google tensor is a system on chip designed by google for its pixel phones it is the first custom soc designed by google and it is based on the arm64 architecture let us let us get a bit naughty over here see google bard had no mention of exynos over here but let us get a bit naughty and ask is it like really based on exynos what does what does google bard think over here oh yeah <laughs> yes google tensor is based on exynos google and samsung have a long-standing partnership and google has used exynos processor in its pixel phones for several years however oh yeah google tensor is not simply a rebranded exynos processor google has made a number of modifications to the exynos processor to improve its performance and to add new features so they added like a dedicated machine learning chip which makes it better for ai tasks overall google tensor is a powerful and efficient processor that is well suited for use in smartphones huh okay okay google but let's talk about some custom roms here now so yes there it is you have a pretty nice definition of a custom rom let us ask like the most asked questions on all custom rom videos which is the best custom rom oh well there it is google bard knows it it's nailed it the best custom rom for you will depend on your individual needs and preferences here are a few things to consider and it also gives you a few of the best custom roms available which include lineage os pixel experience and of course paranoid android so all the ogs are present over here let's see let's see like which phone takes best pictures let's ask if it is like the pixel 7 pro is still favored over here or uh, again individual needs and preferences now surprisingly in that list the google pixel 7 pro is not there and their favorite phone is the google pixel 6 pro so so google bard thinks that the latest and the greatest pixel 7 pro is not the best at taking pictures it is the google pixel 6 pro let us talk about the best video phone with google bard again so so best video is the big dogs are here but surprisingly you do not have your 
iPhone 14 Pros, the S23 series, the Google Pixel 7 series. So this is like surprising. Best phone of 2023 was like your Pixel 7 Pros and the iPhone 14s. But over here, you do not have any mention of the Pixel 7s, the S23s and the iPhone 14s. So yeah, that is kind of strange and the same thing applies for the pictures part as well next up let us talk about the google pixel 8 with google bard well we have we have some details about the google pixel 8 and the google pixel 8 pro so late 2023 release a new design with the flat edged frame and a camera bump that is flush with the back of the phone holy moly <laughs> a new processor the google tensor g2 whoa a new camera system with a 50 megapixel main sensor, 20 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel telephoto. Better battery than the Google Pixel 7, black, white, and green colors, and 128 GB to 512 GB. Google Bard is excited about the Pixel 8 and the Google Pixel 8 Pro. So, yeah, huh. interesting. And before I forget, on the top right, you have the option of view other drafts, and you can switch between the three drafts which we have over here and read about those as well so let us check out this one. Oh, some more specs so the pixel 8 is expected to have a 6.1 inch oled display and the pro a 6.7 inch oled display and here's some information about the pricing as well so these are like rumored pricing and rumored specs operating system android 13 i think it would be android 14 so yeah all in all in all like a pretty good experience with google bard over here and in case you have any specific questions you want me to ask this new chatbot ai from google leave them in the comments on this video